let's get this thing started. Brett, man. I'm sorry. Light another one. That was our last match. Oh, man. Good thing I'm here to save the day, huh? All right. Watch this. Where'd you learn to do that? Brother Dunn taught me last year at camp. Brother Dunn? Why do Mormons call each other brothers? Brother? Hey, we just do. It's like brother, you know. Well, what do people call each other in your church, Brett? We just use our first names. Mm, it works. Tell me something. Why are Mormons so sure of themselves? What do you mean? In my church, we believe in certain things, but Mormons say they know. How do they know? You see, Brett, it's revealed to them. So you've had a revelation? Not exactly. So what's it supposed to be like? Well? Well? It's like a feeling you get. A really good feeling, and you just know it's true. So you've had that feeling? Yes, I have. Good night. Hi, right, man. Hello, See you, Brett. Hey, I don't let the fire go out. See you in the morning, man. You know, Mike, you really surprised me with what you said today, man. <laughs> yeah, I kind of surprised myself, too. I don't tell too many people about that. About what? Just this experience I had, that's all. <laughs> You're gonna make me tell you, huh? Well, one night I was reading my scriptures for seminary, but it was different. It was like I was reading about myself or something. What do you mean? Well, you know, Lehi had just had a spiritual experience and he was telling his sons about it. And then afterwards, Nephi wanted to know for himself the things that his father knew. So he went out and he asked God. It's like a voice said to me, Mike, when are you gonna find out for yourself if these things are true? Ever since then, my life has really started to change. Like how? I don't even feel like doing some of the things I used to do. And instead of just saying my prayers, I really try to pray. But what's the difference? I think, I think I really care about what I'm saying now. And what's more important than that is I listen too. So when are you gonna start finding out for yourself? Hey, Dad, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, son, come on in. What you working on? Oh, I'm just working on this lamp here. I'm replacing the knob. Dad, how'd you know the church was true? Well, you heard of Enos. I did what he did. So you prayed all day and all night? <laughs> you know, I tried that. But after 20 minutes, I couldn't think of anything else to pray about. So I gave up. So that's how you knew? No. A couple of weeks later, I read the story again. I found out what Enos did. And I tried it for myself. What do you mean? So the important thing was not how many hours it took. It was the things he did. 
And even more important was how badly he wanted it to happen. So what did he do? How badly do you really want to know? I mean, are you willing to read it and dig out the answers for yourself? I guess so, if that's what it takes. Good, because that's the key, son. That's the key. Come here, man. Okay. Now, let's see if this whole lamp works here. Come on, scratch these mats for me. tell you of the wrestle which I had before God. Your best friend knows, your parents know, what's wrong with you? I'm not exactly a spiritual giant. I don't always do the right thing. Half the time, I don't even say my prayers. Why do I have to know these things now? Why can't I wait until I'm on my mission? Mike didn't wait. Why should you? which I heard my father speak sunk deep into my heart. How badly do you really want to know? I mean, are you willing to read it and dig out the answers for yourself? Oh, my soul hungered, my heart cried out, please, Lord, release me from pain and from doubt. Oh, my soul hungered, Hey, Brett, you remember when you asked me a while back about the Mormons and how are they so sure of what they know? Yes, so? Hey, man, I got something to tell you now. With all my heart, with all my soul, I wrestle before the Lord to make my life whole. He filled my hunger. My soul, he fed my soul, oh my soul. 